Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So today in Playwright, we are going to talk about how to upload a file. We can upload single file, we can upload multiple file, but one condition you have to make sure that whatever the upload button or browse button or choose file button is there, it should have one property with input tag where type is equal to file is there. This is exactly same property we see in Selenium as well. Same thing in Playwright, we can do that. So for example, let's see this is application and uh, this just click on just choose file and then you can select let's see this a uh, docker grid that I have selected and this is the PNG file got selected here. In fact, uh, this upload file option selects multiple files also. For example, let's see I'll just click on these two items and then you can see that multiple two files got selected. So you can select n number of files. For example, let's see I want to select this one then this excel sheet then this and this and this so you can select all these things together to this particular uh, uh, upload files button so how to handle the same thing in playwright right so what we have to do here that uh, make sure input type equal to file is there so first we will see this particular property so let me refresh this page once again and uh, right click on this choose file go to inspect and then here you can see input type equal to file is there if it is not there, then you have to ask your developer to provide type equal to file option. Then only Playwright can handle this scenario. And here you can see name and ID attribute is available. So I can simple come over here. This is I'm launching the uh, URL. And then what you have to do, you just need to write one method that is called page dot set input files method is there. And this method is actually overloaded with multiple options. You can pass the selector. The first parameter always selector of that particular element and then you can pass the path file you can pass the file uh, payload files also you can pass that you can pass the number of files also for the multiple file it supports so for single file i'm going to use one and for multiple files i'm going to use this one so let's see i'm going to use the single file option and what is a selector so selector is id is there so i can simply say okay fine this is my uh, input field and for input for ID, we have to use hash. I'm going to use a CSS selector over here. And what is the file path? So file path you have to give like this paths dot. And then you have to pass the get method. You have to use it, right? And then you have to pass the file, whatever the file that you want to upload. Now, for example, let's see, I want to upload some files are already available in my uh, project. You can see this app login dot JSON file is available. So I can just directly give or you can give the path also C drive, D drive or whatever the path, the file path that you want to give. You can give if something is available in your C drive, then go to C2 users, then uh, documents and then whatever the file dot uh, text file is there, you can give the path also. If the file is directly available under the same project, so I can use this file also. Let's see. So the file name is app login or auto state JSON file. You can write it. So I'm going to write, for example, app login dot json okay okay make sure there is no spelling mistake now let's run it and let's see this is working or not so run as a java application it will enter the url and once the page is fully loaded it will try to enter the file so you can see it's the file got uploaded can you see app login dot json file got uploaded this is so awesome now playwright supports one more thing what if the file that you have uploaded you really want to uh, deselect the file or uh, by mistake you have uploaded one file so you really want to deattach the file also how will you do that so in this case if you really want to remove the specific file what you do you simply say the exactly same thing page dot set input files from this particular locator okay and then put a comma and then you need to just pass the object array like this new path array that you have to pass it like this zero here that's it so new path zero you have to pass and then this path you have to import from java.neo file it means i'm not going to upload any file and then i'll do one thing first i'll upload this app login.json after that i'll put thread.sleep deliberately so that we can have a look that after four seconds the same file should be deselected okay should be removed from the page so let's see it is working or not okay it's entering the url and uh, see first it will upload the file just try to see that app login.json and after four seconds it should be deselected automatically can you see automatically got see deselected and it's saying no file selected this is so awesome 
right so like this also you can do that okay now we will check about how to upload multiple files so this is for the single file so i'll do one thing now i'm going to upload multiple files so let me just comment it out these things the second use case that we are going to talk about that multiple okay same thing paste dot set input file to this particular locator and uh, what you just need to do put a comma and then this is the file path that we are going to use it this is my first file that paths dot get that you have to use but how exactly you have to use you have to create new path object array like this and then simple pass the value in curly bracket and then what is the file that you have to upload let's say my first file is path dot get the same thing you have to use it over here path dot get and then put a comma and what is the second file name so comma separated file name you can give so let's see i'm just going to write in the new line so this is my first file and then after that this is my second file and then put a comma and let's see i want to upload third file also and then semicolon so i'm just going to change the file names here so let's see file name another file name that i have auto state and then second third file i'm going to use let's see example.png upload and then you have to close the bracket here like this and then save it perfect so let's see this is working or not it is uploading the multiple files make sure that that uh, the input file option this choose file this application is supporting the multiple file or not if it is supporting you can do this experiment with the multiple files also so let's run it again so here you can see that yep the application got launched and then awesome can you see this see i'll show you here app login.json autostate.json and example.png all these three files got selected three files here it's showing that right this is so awesome so likewise you can just pass the collection in the form of one path array that you have to create that and then keep passing the values like this and whatever the path the file path that you are giving make sure the file is available there now same thing if you really want to detach these files that also you can do that so let's see after again four seconds of time i really want to detach that so same method you have to use it for the removing the files simple pass path zero so first i'll upload these three files waiting for uh, let's see three seconds of time and then i'm going to detach everything remove all the files from here so let's run it again run as java application okay so the browser is getting launched again and then here you will see first three files got uploaded and after three seconds it's removed that's so awesome so you can upload single file and you can remove the single file you can upload the multiple files and then you can remove all the files also you can do that okay so let me just terminate the program now there is one more amazing thing i'll tell you what if you don't have any file and uh, you don't want to upload the file on the basis of the file path you really want to create a file okay on the fly let's see for example uh, abc.txt file or file.txt file and you really want to put a content also in that particular file just a quick scenario you really want to do that how to do this so i'm going to create that create a file on the fly so i'm saying that uh, runtime you have to create a file and then upload it so let's see how to do this this is also supported by playwright so what you just need to do again you have to create the same locator set input files i mean page dot set input file with the same locator that you have to use it and then see this carefully what exactly i'm going to do it now just need to write new keyword you have to write and then you have to create the object of file payload see this when you see this method press control space it's saying that you can pass the file payload files also you can do that and uh, see this so this is a file payload i'm going to create and then what is the file name the name of the file you can give any name for example name of the file is navin dot text file or excel file or whatever that you want to create and then what is the type of this file the type of this file i'm saying this is my uh, text forward slash it is a plain type and then what is the buffer buffer means what is the content of this particular file so i'll write okay yeah this is uh, naveen here right so these are the three parameters that i have created and then you have to see this put a semicolon and then dot and then you have to get the byte of the content that you are passing and what kind of character set that you are passing so you have to tell that these are my uh, standard character set so simple write 
the standard character set dot utf16 or 8 also you can write it this is character set so the exact same content this is Naveen here that you are passing in the form of a string it will be converted into the byte on the basis of this utf8 format and then you just need to use it and closing the bracket here like that so what will happen see this i'm going to repeat once again to this particular locator create one file at the runtime naveen.txt what is the type of this file .txt file and then what is the mime type of this file what is a, what kind of media it is it is text plain file and what is the content the content is this is naveen here you can write any content and then simple get bytes so will this work let's see so i'm going to run this program and let's see it is working or not so naveen dot a text file should be created over here you can see naveen dot txt file got created here this is so nice right but how will you verify that the content is whatever we are passing this this is naveen here available in this particular naveen dot txt because right now it, this application is not supporting but sometimes what happens when you upload the file the same web, web page will display the text and the content of that particular file also so in that case let's try with some other application so what you do you go to this particular site it's a different, different example let's say i'm going to uh, select a specific file so just simply click on choose file for example let's see this is the text file that i'm going to open and uh, when you click on press to upload the file see this is a complete content is displayed over here <coughs> of that particular file right so same thing that i really want to verify through my script also so i'll do one thing this is the url that i'm going to use it and uh, i have to locate this particular element so let's inspect that because this time the element is having name equal to up file but type equal to file is there right so i'm just going to do one thing this is not the id so i'm going to use this is my input selector i'm going to use it and then going to use the name name is equal to up file and then upload naveen.txt with the same content so what will happen this naveen.txt will be uploaded and with the this content will be displayed on the page okay and then after that what exactly i'm going to do that i'm going to click on press to upload the files so this is you can see input type equal to submit and then press so i can quickly create one css for this type equal to submit or value equal to press i can use it this is simple dot click i'm going to use it so page dot click method what is a selector so input um, value is equal to this simple click on it and the moment you click on it the content this is naveen here should be displayed on the page okay so hence we will prove that yeah this content that we creating at the runtime is correct or not and the same naveen.txt will be uploaded on the on the page so let's see this time i'm using a different url this is so nice can you see that this is naveen here exactly same content got displayed here this is what you have uh, written right this is naveen here this is a plain text that you have created so like this you can do that on the fly also you can create a, a file and then quickly check that and whenever you really want to specify you really want to upload a file in that case you can just give the path of that as well if you really want to upload naveen.pdf or anything then you have to check it is text plain or text forward slash pdf so mime type you have to check that so how to check that you simple do one thing just go to google and then you simple write file type mime and then various uh, you can see that various uh, standards are there for mime type you can just simple go see type forward slash subtype this is the subtype again so these are the different types are available for audio file you have to use audio forward slash mpg audio forward slash warbase or something for zip file you have to use application forward slash zip file see application pdf file you have to use it for the pdf you have to use like that right for the image you have to use image forward slash png or image forward slash jpg file you have to use that and for text that we have already seen that text plane forward slash plane that we have already seen here you can see a uh, text forward slash plane so make sure that i mean this object that you are creating it's saying the mime type you have to pass it means what is the type of that particular file it is a video file or what kind of file it is right guys so like this you can just use it very properly supported by playwright here I hope it's clear how to upload the file, single file, multi-selection file, remove the file and then runtime file upload also. You can do that with the different MIME type. So that's all for this particular video. I hope you like it. Please subscribe to the channel, share with others. 
there are a lot of people who are looking for the playwright with java series you can just refer this particular series i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all